And that water goes directly to about 15 fruit trees right to their root zone. And it goes around the base of the cistern, and then it overflows this basin. Um, what's missing, I think, in the ecosystem is terrestrial beavers to go and shape the earth <laughs> to um, keep the water from all just running off. Natural recharge has to thread this really tricky needle where you have to get more infiltration than you have evaporation and transpiration without the water just all running off. If you go against the cultural norms, you're kind of gonna get smacked. And then I also realized that if we don't go against the cultural norms, we're gonna go extinct. Stormwater use is the latest and the greatest, and this is going to be one heck of a demonstration. I'm Kathleen Garnan, and with the county's Project Clean Water Program. Das Williams, a local state legislator. Madeline Ward, City of Santa Barbara Water Conservation. Tyrone LaFay, Santa Barbara County Water Agency. We've been working with art on a variety of water resource issues, particularly uh, recycled water, gray water, and rainwater harvest. There are multiple benefits here in managing storm water. By infiltrating the water you, you not only can treat the water, improve water quality, then that water goes down into the ground, it becomes base flow water. So the extent that we can uh, increase pervious surfaces across the county really will reduce the instances of uh, beach advisories and you know polluted beaches across the county. So we leveled the, one third of the property and we're trying to do is it as water catchment so that we can have uh, not only water for ourselves but replenish the aquifer. More people need stuff like this, we can save a ton of water.